What is up, YouTube? Holy Pepsi, you're going to be doing some League of Legends gameplay. I'm going to be going Irelia Jungle. And, uh, yeah, I think Irelia Jungle is, like, really, really good. I consider it secret OP. And, uh, yeah, it's secret OP, man. It's really good. Because you don't see Irelia get picked. And as a jungler, she is absolutely broken once you get Devourer. You don't even need a Devourer fully stacked for it to be broken because her W scales so well with attack speed. Awesome. Let's, let's go over here. So I'm versing a Master Yi. Oh my gosh. Okay. Four ten. Oh, seems like you have a death wish, ye. Okay. I wish uh, Scion would have went off and actually fully charged that, because he would have got the stun, most definitely. Alright, so usually I say to clear their red, but we're not going to clear it this time because it was too much of a risk. I didn't want to have to fight uh, Trinomir after just fighting, uh, what is his name, uh, Master Yi. Just wasn't worth it. Uh, I would most definitely, if I had the opportunity and I knew that, uh, what? How? Whatever. If I knew that uh, Trindomir was, wasn't coming, then yeah, I would have most definitely cleared the red so I would have had the timer. Because overall, you definitely want to have your enemy junglers timers. That's just something that's really, really nice. And once you start to abuse that, you'll definitely climb up higher in the ranking system. But sadly, we were not able to get the timer. But I know generally when he cleared it, it's probably about 30 seconds from now. So after I do my blue, about a solid 60 seconds, I can do Skull Crab and maybe Grump, and then I can head over to his red and clear it. But most likely he'll be there because a, he's, he's going to be going from his blue to his wolves to there. So overall, it's not that big of a deal. It's just nice to be able to counter his red multiple times. Uh, I walked away with a kill, which is most likely better off than uh, being able to counter red for a second time. Because overall, I get the... Uh, gold right away instead of having to uh, actually go and clear it so I say it was most definitely a win now the reason why devourer is so broken iron really is because of her W's passive uh, on hit it basically just heals her and when it's activated it does true damage on hit and it also does double healing for its passive that's it right there Okay, well, when it's activated, Devourer basically stacks it twice, so it's extremely broken. Now, this is this right here is the ability that made Irelia Top absolutely, like, broken, and it really never got nerfed. It, it didn't get nerfed at all, I should say. So, it made a, Irelia Top broken. Devourer doubles that. That's just insanity, man. Just insanity. And that's the reason why, even without uh, basically having Devourer upgraded, it's still a really strong item. Because this basically just makes her hit more often, and makes her basically be able to abuse the passive as much as possible. And it's just overall just really, really good. I can't hype it up any more than what I'm doing. Like with, Without Devourer, or a sated Devourer, Devourer is broken on Aurelia. That's how good it is. Okay. Now I'm gonna clear Grump and Wolves, and that should give me the 1800 enough to on my first back by Devourer. There's two options you can do, right? If you're doing very well and you picked up a kill, you can just AFK farm, and you can still do valid ganks, like right here. 
Like, you can do ganks without having uh, the jungle item upgrade. It's not that required. Oh, wait. Uh, I guess I'll go clear wolves. Ooh, I'll clear wolves in blue. But you don't actually have to have the jungle item to clear the jungle. Yes, you do lose 30 gold per camp, but you would have to back and then you'd be wasting quite a bit of time. So overall, it's not really worth it if you know that you can constantly clear your jungle just to get the devourer a little bit faster. It's not that much faster, but it's a little bit faster. And if you don't think that you're actually going to be getting into like a large scale team fight, that uh, jungle item is not going to be really that important then. Alright, I'm just going to smite this so we can get this out of the way. Alright. Another thing that I have to say that's really good about Aurelia is that Scuttle Crab, you can just stun it with your E. And then you can just basically nuke it down like, very, very fast. Alright, I have to take a phone call. Stand resolute. Not be defeated.
All right, sorry about that. So, uh, yeah, we got Dragon. Uh, pretty good. And I have 17 stacks. I saw the team fight top, but I wasn't going to go there. It's like, eh. I need to get Devourer as soon as possible. That way I can hit my, like, major power spike. But even without Devourer, I still do tons of damage. It's it's quite ridiculous. Uh, their team is a D. Alright. No, I don't want two boots. Alright, so this is a major issue that people cannot figure out. And this will make you easily climb ranks. Okay. You see, I have a... An, a attack speed slash damage item, right? That is what Devour is. Attack speed slash damage. It increases your damage if you're using the correct champion with it. Okay. You don't want to build another damage item after that. You don't need more damage. You need to sustain. Like, there's some champions that are exception to the rule, like Master Yi, which he usually generally he goes glass cannon. But... Irelia is not like that. There's a lot of champions like Shivana that she's supposed to be a tank. So instead of going basically Blade of Rune King, I'm going to go Randuin's, right? And then I'm going to go Blade of Rune King because then I'll have the sustain. I'll have the little bit of HP that will make me survive basic attacks from melee champions. It's very critical because then I can go into team fights, they can focus me, and I'm not going to instantly die. If I went and built Blade of Rune King, you're going to instantly die the second you get focused. That is why you see a lot of people like basically copying Night Blue and Trick 2G where they go, well, I'm going to go Udyr or I'm going to go Vi, and I'm going to build uh, Warrior, and I'm going to build Trinity Force, right? Warrior and Trinity Force don't, don't give you any defensive stats. Trinity Force gives you, like, a minuscule amount of HP, but that's nothing whatsoever. So the second a team fight happens, you're going to die like you're, like, a like a piece of paper getting ripped. Like, no, it doesn't work out at all. You'd be much better just going Cinder Hulk and going, uh, Randuin's on Vi, and you'd actually probably do more damage because by the time you actually do your damage with your, uh, Warrior and your Trinity Force, you're already dead. You're not going to survive that long. So it looks like mid's having fun. I'm happy to say I have 24 stacks. We're at 15 minutes. By 17 minutes, I should probably have the 30. Uh, let's see here. Oh, that was, oh wait, I still had a... Oh wow, I still have two left. I thought I kind of used them all, but oh well. So, uh, this is, uh, pretty good game. Okay. Okay. So yeah, I do tons of damage. Hi. Party! Ice cream party! I, I don't know, I just felt like saying it. Oh, and I have Devourer now. Woohoo! So I have my damage. Hmm, let's see here. Draven's O2. They can actually come back from this. I don't know about that E though. That E is doing terrible. He's not even going Devourer. Which I guess is actually kind of smart. Because you have to actually have the ability to go Devourer. Like, 
he could go devour but he's not gonna get the full stacks not until like 40 minutes so he's going the warrior route because he doesn't feel confident that he'll be able to get the stacks fast enough which i can kind of understand so that i'm gonna say that's actually pretty smart Dun, 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 dun. All right, so we're gonna now go Blade of Rune King. Uh, the reason why I'm not going Trinity Force is because it's not really needed. Uh, Trinity Force is really good with Devour. It's just overall probably like one of the best, but I feel like Blade of Rune King is a little bit better. It'll give me sustain with my already stupid uh, sustain with my W. Basically makes me an unkillable monster. So I'd rather have that than build a Trinity Force item that's just gonna allow me to do a ton more damage because I'm gonna do a ton of damage regardless of whether I have Trinity Force or not. It's like, I don't need any more damage at this point, okay? Oh my gosh. Oh, I killed him. I was like spamming all my buttons to see if uh, I had Cutlass, but I didn't. I don't know, I'll probably do another video that's more in depth. Uh, I kind of screwed up and had to take a phone call because it's semi-important. So that's kind of the reason why I feel like this game went a little too easy. It was all about the phone call, man. Phone calls, they just instantly make you win games. Anyone who says that they generally make you lose games, they just don't know what they're talking about. They don't know how to use the power of the phone. But yeah. Like a 97% chance that I'll do another uh, Devourer video. I don't really, because it's really good. I, I don't know why people haven't picked it up. Uh, it, it scales really nicely. It's really actually quite hard to have a bad game with Irelia Devourer. Okay, uh, nice. Because she basically, she gets her Devourer, then she builds Tanky, then she gets a Blade of Rune King, so she has Sustain. So let's just say that we're like losing pretty badly. I'm still a tank. I'm still fulfilling my role. So it's not like you're a Master Yi or you're a Kha'Zix and oh my gosh, you're feeding and you're having a bad game. Well... It's going to be extremely hard for you to catch up. No, it's you're playing Irelia. Irelia is a tank to begin with. You do a ton of damage regardless. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. And peace out.